my YouTube channel. Today we have another cooking video ahead of us. So to, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to visit Wales and I will be cooking something to bring along the way. So today I will be making chicken goujons, two types of them. Uh, I'll tell you the versions later. So this recipe I'm going to be making, kids will go nuts for it because the way I make it is really mwah, the Italian way mwah. So sigla. So here we are. The ingredients for this recipe will be chicken, flour, freshly grated parmesan cheese, six eggs, which I don't think I'll be using, all of them, salt and pepper, breadcrumbs, ariosto, which is an Italian seasoning with mixed herbs, um, Ita uh, more Italian seasoning, which is actually freshly cut, and on the bottom we have smoked paprika. Now here you say, um, why do we have crunchy nut cereal? Now that's the second version of what I'm going to be doing because crunchy nut cereal is obviously crunchy because it's called crunchy nut. So it's going to become like when you bite it, it's more crunchier than the golden breadcrumbs. So let's get on with this recipe. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is cutting the chicken. So you need to be careful because uh, to cut a chicken you need to use a very sharp knife. So the way we're going to cut it is, the, is, is we're going to cut it into um, two, two pieces and then we're going to cut it into strips. Okay, so we can put one of them to the side which is a bit more chunkier and we can start cutting them into strips. This is the easy, I think this is the easiest way to cut it into strips because you're literally just cutting them into strips. Now we already cut them into strips so now we're going to start cutting them into half because some of them are actually really long. Now when you're cutting them into strips don't be too perfect because when you go to a restaurant and you order chicken, the chicken is actually not perfectly cut. It's actually um, in like different shapes and sizes. So that's what we're going to do. Now remember, when you're cutting chicken, you need to wash your hands before you do. And you need to wash your hands obviously after. Now we're going to be putting oven paper into this pan so we can put our chicken. Now, Sometimes um, it doesn't really stick to here, so a quick tip is just to get some water and, you know, just some water, and that's fine. So we can put that dry my hands, and we can. And now it will stick. So we can put this. Now, after I cut the chicken strips, I cut um, some chicken into cubes and together they're about 20, 25, 30 pieces of chicken. The flour is enough, if you need more you obviously get more and um, I think I'll be needing like three eggs and, and again if you need more you put more eggs. So we're going to start cracking the eggs, just one egg, the second egg. And now to put the condiments, salt and pepper, and parmesan cheese. Now obviously if you don't put any salt or pepper or, or even just salt and pepper, if you don't put it, uh, your chicken is going to be actually, um, when you taste it, it's not going to be as, like, tasty as if you put salt and pepper. Okay, so now the eggs are ready to go, so now we can start putting the condiments into the breadcrumbs. So, here it is. Ariosto. 
smoked paprika and more Italian seasoning. So on this one, you don't need to put, you can just go like this because, I mean, you don't need a fork. Now, we're ready to start coating the chicken. Um, so, so it goes flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, and then if you want extra coating, um, eggs and then breadcrumbs. Now for the eggs, if you don't want to get too messy, you can use two forks pick, um, to put in the eggs, pick it up, breadcrumbs, and then there. But the, but the better way, I think, is to use your hands to get messy. So we're going to do that. Okay, chicken strip, flour, just get it nicely coated, and eggs, and then the breadcrumbs. I'm going to do some with extra coating, some with just singular coating. So that looks good, so we can already put it in there. Okay, so I finished um, uh, filling up my pan with the chicken. This is the one with breadcrumbs. Now we can put that over there and get this to fill up with the crunchy nut ones. Now this is a non-stick pan, so the food won't stick, so we don't need it on uh, oven paper. So we can go back over here. Now I just uh, cleaned everywhere, cleaned everywhere and washed my hands with soap because it's very important to uh, stay clean during cooking, hygiene reasons. Now before we do the crunchy nuts, we're gonna preheat our oven so when we finish, we can just pop it into the oven straight away. So, now for the oven, you need to put it to the um, ventilated oven setting or in this case it's the third setting on my one and for the temperature about 200 to 190 degrees i'm going to put it right there about in between 190 and 200 and we can turn it on just to produce it now for the crunchy nut now the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to get the crunchy nut pour it into here and crush it to make it into like a what do you call it? Um, like a breadcrumbs sort of texture. So we can. So I think that's enough, and now we can go get milk. And I'm joking. Uh, we can crush it. Just crush it as as thin as possible. Now I finished crushing my uh, crunchy nuts. Um, now because crunchy nuts are sweet, they have like sweet taste to it, um, uh, they're going to give like a sweet and salt taste, which is good, I've tried it before, it's really good, but if you want um, even better, you get the cornflakes, which is um, not as sweet. So, like before, chicken, flour, eggs, cornflakes, crunchy nuts, sorry. So again, the second one. Flour, eggs, and crunchy nuts. Okay, so my chicken are fully coated, so now we can put this into the oven. So this non-stick one, this one will be going at the bottom. Nice and easy. Salad. 
Now, if you want to add more salt, um, I don't mind uh, to your cooking, so you can add more salt if you want when they're finished. Okay, first one, so close to be done, and that's done. On to the second one. So I'm gonna plate them. I think like this is gonna be much easier because it can't be like that, so it's fine. I can all I can already feel the crunchy nuts being way more cr more crunchy, and the texture is like, whew, you should try it, guys. Okay, guys, we already we we put um our chicken into a platter, and now let's try it. I'll try it for you guys. Let's get this one into the ketchup, into the mayonnaise because I like it like that. Try the crunchy nut. I'm cut by itself. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really crunchy. I really like it. Mmm. Both of them are really, really good. So that's the end of the video guys, uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, bye bye!